Because what? No, no, no. You cannot blame me for that. You cannot blame me for that. I didn't tell you to go in there and hide there. We decided it together. <laughs> but you were like, I feel so safe. It can't come in here. It can't go through the wall. Well, I thought we were <laughs> safe. Okay? I thought we were. I feel worked. so safe right now. Oh, I did. Yeah. I was like, I feel you so know, safe she, right now. She was safe. The ghost wanted me. It kept coming after me. I'm sorry. It's okay. I couldn't resist my booty. I'm here now, so maybe you'll come to me. You can be my hero. I can be your hero, hero baby. I am going to Let's see. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm by myself. Oh, fuck no. 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 Oh, no, no, no. She likes it when you shove it down her throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! She just called us both out. Elizabeth? Sweetheart? Are you okay? <laughs> sweetheart, are you okay? <laughs> hey, sweetheart, are you okay? Do you want a hug? I watched that, it looked like she spanked your ass or something, the way you bent down. <laughs> She's a frisky ghost. She's a frisky ghost. I don't even know what you look like yet. Oh, she's not as bad as some of the other ones we've dealt with. She's hey, kind of normal looking. Elizabeth? Oh, oh, she's, oh, she's, yep, yep, she just moved the bunny. She just moved the bunny.
I just wanted to take this time and say hi to everybody. And she tried to give me like the biggest one and I was like, can I have one that's a little bit smaller? And so she gave me one and it was still pretty big. Um, and we like walked over to this area where there was better light. And in my head, I'm like, just, you know, talking myself through it. And I'm like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Like, I can't. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, guys. How's it going? So we should be live. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully music's not too loud. And whenever um, stuff starts chatting in Discord, you'll be able to hear her. Um, we got Joseph and Debbie here so far. And obviously we have Steph as well. Um, let me make sure I can see Discord chat in case syrups pops in. Um, so the plan today, before we get into playing any games, I kind of want to go over what's going on with Legacy and what's going on with Magic Awakens because we have these two awesome Harry Potter games, which will hopefully be dropping here soon for all of us to play together. But um, to go over the Legacy stuff, James from Espectro Go has been putting out a lot of really good content around it, and I thought maybe we could watch his videos together and then talk about it, um, get everybody's feedback, and then talk about Magic Awakened. And if you guys are not already following James from Expecto Go, I don't know why you wouldn't be if you're here, but if you're not, please make sure to go give him a follow and make sure to like his videos and also leave a comment for him on those as well. Hey, Syrups! Syrups is here. No worries. No worries about the voice chat. Oh, we got Grace too. Hey, Grace. What up, beautiful? Um, so yeah, let me change screens. Let me pause the music because we don't need the music playing in the background. Um, if we're going to be listening to the videos and then we want to go here and then I need to make this one bigger and move this where I'll be able to see it. I just got to do a little bit of shuffling around guys. Um, and I thought we could start with this one and then move on to the latest one. So you guys Talk some Hogwarts legacy disagree news. with that, let me know. But that's what I was thinking. Get theater mode. And I'll drop the links to these in the chat as well. So that way, if you haven't, please go show some love on them because James deserves it. He works really hard on his videos and deserves the love. The love. Um, if the video is too loud, not loud enough, whatever, let me know and I'll adjust the volume. But hopefully it'll be good. Stop. Your boy James over at Expecto Go bringing you guys the latest and greatest Pokemon games and Hogwarts Legacy content. And today, you guys Is have been wondering, okay James, what did the Rolling Library send you in regards to the scoop for Hogwarts Legacy? If you're and on the Twitter, information's already out. Retro Tour just put out a video and sent the information well. literally like an hour been ago. Dropping now, a lot of really he probably good saw the Rolling yeah. Library reach out to us this past weekend and reached out to them and then made the video. I've been working on confirming the information and I did just that. We're going to confirm the information that the Rolling Library sent us. We're going to get hyped over the information that they sent us I love and speculate the how it can too. be implemented in Hogwarts Legacy. They're probably like so if you have not done so already, so. be sure to Lumos, the subscribe button, notification bell so you miss out on more Hogwarts Legacy content. Without further ado, let's Accio the news. Now, let's start with quickly confirming the information and where you guys shirt. can find so it. Cute. First, this information comes to us from the Rolling Library, who then sent us a PDF of a resume for one of the level designers for WB Avalanche, who has a website featuring all their responsibilities on aspects of Hogwarts Legacy. That level designer name is Tyler too. McCombs. 10 10, Upon take, visiting Tyler's website, it has his portfolio with his work he did on Hogwarts Legacy, responsibilities, the whole nine. Particularly what stands out to me is the enemy camp process overview, research, planning, blackout, and iteration. Me too, Under research, Debbie. he has me analyzed too. level so designs good. in open world games so like 
Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us 2, and Breath of the Wild. Amazingly beautiful, detailed, the games and that dense these guys worked on open world are games. Stunning. The fact that and the enemy camp aspect is going to be Legacy borrowed so far, possibly from any so of these games is amazing. amazing. It leads me to believe there's going to be some stealth involved with Hogwarts Legacy, maybe even working with NPCs or I'm your allies the wild, trying but... to break into oh, some of these enemy camps. Now, if you look at the Breath of the Wild, that, for example, um... one of the enemy camps looks just like the mask that we see in Hogwarts Legacy trailer for supposedly, we think, the villain of the game. So I can see that in a forested area in Hogwarts Legacy and us trying to break in and maybe release some Fantastic Beasts, which I think is going to be another focal point of this game. So that's just the research they put into to give us possibly some great open world enemy camp designs when playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now that we've revealed the information sent to us from the Rolling Library, so cool, confirmed the information it's and shown you so guys cool. where you can get it, Let's get into speculation right quick. Particularly, the enemy camp gameplay Has inspired from Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, and Breath of the Wild. There's going to be a lot of exploring. There's going to be a lot of exploring. There's going to be lush and dense forests that we're going to be going through. There's going to be enemy camps everywhere. How many regions or sections are we going to be visiting? If there's enemy camps everywhere, does that mean there's going to be a ton of dark wizards we have to battle if we choose the good side and vice versa if we choose the bad side? Are Which all of the enemies as well. dark wizards? I'm could really they be trolls curious. like we've seen in the trailer? I gotta go for the or good side. could they be other fantastic beasts controlled by I'm, I'm a dark wizard or a good side. wizard? This leaves so much space for interpretation because it I could know. be anything, and it's the wizarding world. I literally <laughs> imagine myself <laughs> sneaking in the forest, seeing a camp-like structure know, uh, like in Breath of the when, Wild, where it looks like a skull, which could Wizarding be Nightmare where the dark wizards reside, they could have and maybe using a Leviosa like spell to pick up a branch or, to throw it in the corner the to distract so I know some of the enemy foes so I can get in. Like, this, it, it leaves I'm so curious. much room for strategies and what spells to work on based on your style of play and since we think fantastic beasts are heavily involved particularly me dragons we might be going about freeing fantastic beasts from whatever the dark wizards are doing with these beasts or trying to get from them whether it's the ancient magic speaking of ancient magic some of these enemy camps might be entryways to dungeons, which we've seen have runes, which is always attached to ancient magic. So they could be guarding secrets to ancient magic via the runes in the dungeons that they have set up camp at. There is so much, so much that is coming World just from Warcraft this website that we Harry can speculate on and, and anticipate moving so, forward for Hogwarts so Legacy gameplay. That. Yo, there is so much, yeah, yeah, Jenny, so I much to town. unpack. I went and I am Texas, so excited. Um, Again, thank you. Thank you, Rolling it. Library, for sending so, us this information and giving us the quote unquote scoop. I wish we got it to you guys sooner, that. but we're confirming we're a lot of this. We actually reached out to Tyler, emailed him. And uh, reached out to him on LinkedIn. Uh, so I, waiting to I hear back on that, again, which is why I was going to put off this video like to the end to of the week. But nonetheless, man, what do you guys from think? How are you guys feeling about this MacBook? news so far? Are it's you excited? Are you hyped? Comment below. Let me know. Um, Let's talk some Hogwarts Legacy. If we do any games, news. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hang out. As well, because I don't have the ability to live stream and play games in the same capacity from my MacBook as I do from like my my PC desktop. Um, but I, I wanna try and work that out um, so that I'll still be able to, to stream and to hang out and to play games and everything um, if I go again, because that's the whole deal with the van anyway. But having not built my van out yet, for one, and then for two, 
when I do, building a computer for the van is going to be like, after talking with my brother, between two and $3,000 because of the price of computer parts right now. Um, we're looking That's at, Friday. you know, it- spending a lot of money, essentially. Um, and so it's not going to be overnight. I still have to pay like $600 to change my O2 sensors and then I need to save some money to get like the 100,000 mile um, tune up I think is what it's called done Um, so there's some things that I need to save some money for but um, hopefully we won't have like missed days again at least not in the near future we'll just I'll have to play around and see Um, but thank you for coming anyway and for like Wanting to be here. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, What are you guys thinking, though, about Legacy so far? What side do you want to be on? Are you getting the same kind of, like, World of Warcraft meets Harry Potter vibes that I am? Like, I still fingers crossed that we not only have this open world RPG game, but that it has an online aspect so we can play with our friends. Because that has not been confirmed or denied yet, from what I understand. So, let's watch the next one. This vi- this video is all about the villains, and he goes into a little bit of history, which I think is really cool. Um, so, if you haven't watched this one, it's a really cool video. James over at Expecto Go bringing you guys the latest and greatest Poiki games and Hogwarts Legacy content. And today, um, you have ever what games since you playing myself on and Retro Rocketeur leaked the Hogwarts Legacy enemy camp designs, I've been asking who are these enemies at these camps? Why do they look like Death Eaters? And what's their connection to the story? Today, we possibly have that answer. So be sure to Lumos. The subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on more. Obviously, I don't have any like do, extra news Accio, that you haven't the heard from James now, or the Now, this news comes to us from an else. old BBC um, interview I wish of that I did. J.K. I wish Rowling that I had some, herself like, in regards or to but I the history of the Death um, Eaters. So and I quote, talk about it. I in here is the history of the Death Eaters, and I don't know that I'll ever actually need it. But at some point, which were um, once called something I'm different. About doing that I've they never were called any of the, the Knights games. of Walpurgis. Um, I believe the Harry enemies Potter. or villains we see in the trailer and will be seeing throughout Hogwarts Legacy are the Knights of Walpurgis. Here's I completely why. agree with this. For context, I completely agree with this. The Knights of Walpurgis is a play on the words Walpurgis Knight. Walpurgis Knight in German folklore. The night of April 30th, May Day's Eve, when witches meet on the Brocken Mountain and hold revels with the devil. Medieval and Renaissance tradition held that during Walpurgis Night, witches' evil powers were at their strongest. Keep that in the back of your head. Going back to J.K. Rowling, her villains always had a German connection like the Knights of Walpurgis. Lord Voldemort, for example. J.K. Rowling said, and I quote, The Dark Lord's zeal for purebloods is like Hitler and the Aryan ideal, which his followers, the Death Eaters, also had. Continuing on, Grindelwald is another wizard with pure blood ideology like Hitler, who was defeated by Albus Dumbledore in 1945, which coincides with Hitler's death and the end of World War II. And then finally, the final example of pure blood I think wizards it's really cool how, like, to Germany all and of World this War II is the SS, the Nazi Special Force the Harry Police. Potter the initials lore, of Harry Salazar Slytherin, well. who I think founded I think so the cool. Knights of Walpurgis, inspiring Lord Voldemort to form his own pure blooded, idealistic group, the Death Eaters. So, with all that backstory with J.K. Rowling's villains in the Wizarding World usually having connections to something involving Germany, what's the Knights of Walpurgis' role in Hogwarts Legacy? I mentioned earlier that the actual Walpurgis Knight 
like Halloween, was believed to enhance witches' and wizards' powers or magic. The Knights of Walpurgis' involvement in Hogwarts' legacy is powerful magic. A group named after that night where witches and wizards' magic are more powerful formed by Salazar Slytherin, who studied ancient magic and ideology was Look based on so pure cute. blood, oh, just like the moon his cap. heir, Maybe Lord so Voldemort. Happy. Of course, they're after powerful magic. That's their involvement in Hogwarts Legacy. This attempt to possess a powerful magic is what the Hogwarts Legacy story is centered around based on the trailer and website. And I quote, your character is a student who holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. You possess an unnatural ability to perceive and master ancient magic. Only you can decide if you will protect the secret for the good of all or yield to the temptation of more sinister magic. End quote. Which also ties to the enemy camps we right, leaked Steph. last week. The enemies, the Knights of Walpurgis, camps that are all throughout the Hogwarts Legacy game map could be strategically located at caves or dungeons that have ancient rooms, which is always tied to ancient magic and power, which is what they are after, like their founder, Salazar Slytherin. And our ability to perceive it is valuable to the knights, so we can join them and give them access to this ancient power or protect it and drive them away from those locations. Also, possibly making my Dragon Theory video even more likely if all of this is true. To me, the revelation of the Knights of Walpurgis is huge because this is canon. Since it's from J.K. Rowling's writings, it gives us the possible name and backstory of the enemies, explaining why they wear a mask like the Death Eaters who were formed after the Hogwarts Legacy timeline, I'm but really more importantly, that it gives the writers the of Hogwarts of Legacy this, room to tell their own really story with canon and material, since the interview with JK the was the only mention the of, of the Knights of Walpurgis, uh, regardless literally of what allowing us to, decide to, fight to live on. Um, the unwritten. I hope that but we yo, learn that a is lot more it. about That it. is going to be it in regards and to... Who the possible really villains fun. and enemies if we will see in Hogwarts Legacy that are. I know is choosing to play on the dark side. Um, if we could play like side by side at some point just to see like what's different when the game comes out, I think that'd be really fun too. But um, I definitely think James is onto something with the information that he's talking about here. And I, for one, am super excited about it. Um, let's put some music back on. Oh no, I gotta turn that down. That's too loud. That's too loud for me. Um, so that is happening with that. Um, you guys tell me if you're watching this on replay or if you're watching this now, what side are you choosing? What are you thinking about everything? Are you getting those World of Warcraft vibes? Like, how, how, how are we feeling? How are we feeling? Also, if you have not pre-registered for magic awakened go do that now let me copy this link for you guys as well um when you pre-register when the game comes out you're gonna get lots of cool free things kind of like how they did with uh pokemon unite if you pre-registered on mobile before it came out go in there pre-register um we don't have a date for when this is coming out but if we look at the Discord, which I will pull over for you here. So this is the Harry Potter Magic Awakened, like, official, I guess, Discord. Um, this is where if you wanted to be part of the beta, you would come to get all the information to sign up for that. I wanted to be part of the beta. It's not available for iOS. I tried to figure out a way to do it. Uh, it wasn't going to happen. So um, this is where they had that information. And according to oh i need to mute this tab because otherwise i am gonna get copyright striked um <laughs> so anyway um the beta started february 12th and is going until february 28th so today is the 20th there's eight more days left of the beta and 
I would suspect um, with the beta ending February 28th, unless they're planning to run a second beta test, which is possible because they didn't run beta for iOS, um, we're probably looking at this game dropping in the next month or month to two months. Um, but that's just my guess. That's, uh, there, there's nothing, no evidence behind that at all. Um, at all. So do not take my word for that. But that's just my speculation and my guess there. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out this Discord, there's a lot of information on here about gameplay, things that people are doing. Um, I do have the latest news being sent to the Wizards um, channel on my Discord. So if you're if you're there, you're going to get the latest news from the game updated there automatically as well. And then um, there's you got to be careful. There's some spoilers that could happen in here um, if you don't want spoilers, but it's still a really good place to stay up to date to know what's going on. And I am so excited about this game. Look at the art. The art is so cute. If you guys didn't watch Mod play this on Twitch a while back, um, I posted his video in Discord a week or two ago. Um, for anybody who hadn't seen it, go back, find the link for it. But it was really cool to watch him play because he kind of finagled the system until he got booted from it for a little bit. But the art in this game is really cool. It's doing really, really, really well in China as well. It's, I think, the number one game on their app store. So that is good news for us here in the U.S. Because if it's doing well there, it's likely going to do well here, which means that Hopefully it won't be disappearing anytime soon. Um, but I am so excited about it. This was me researching how to, to get the beta information. Um, womp womp, sad did not happen. I never closed those tabs, but um, I'm so, so excited about this. And I've got the thing tab muted, but this is a little preview so you guys can see, because I don't want to get uh, this one. Oh, he's done two live streams playing it. See, they started the beta after I left on my trip. So I uh, have not seen anybody playing it recently, but that's awesome. I'm pretty sure he put put one of them up on VOD on YouTube. Did he? To go back mm -hmm. and check. So he and Mod Monkey then have some uh Yeah, have some footage. gameplay. I think Zelman Zelman uh Mark Zilman is also covering it on on his vlog, maybe. Awesome. I think he I'm, started it. I'm jealous. I'm, I guess that's I the trouble with being it. an iOS user. <laughs> I don't get to play. Well <laughs> I told you I tried and it, it didn't work for me and I was like yeah. not doing the AP thing I was just like eh, yeah. I feel sus and I'm not gonna do it and I don't I don't but blame you I don't blame you for that either I don't think I didn't have a good I didn't I didn't feel like I had a safe option to put the APK on and I just didn't feel 100 percent about it so yeah I don't blame you everybody who's playing that game is loving it so much and mm -hmm. I tagged you in a post on discord oh, I just saw in it. the in our, in our wizards unite Matt shared that um, earlier today Oh. So your guess is actually pretty spot on because it's saying drop for everywhere first quarter and then it says for US to be determined. But we know that they're running the beta. We know that the closed beta will end the 28th and then they have a month still left in quarter one for right. the month of March to run iOS betas, which I expect them to do. Um, and then that puts us in quarter two for April, so I think April will be when we get this game. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. You've been playing it, Joseph, and you love it? Ugh, I'm jealous. So, from what I understand, if you're on the beta, everything that you earn when the beta's over goes away, but I still think it's really cool that you're getting, like, a chance to preview and play it as well. Um, so, that's awesome. Um, Debbie, are you going to be playing 
Magic Awakened as well. Um, let's see. All right. Steph, you're going to be playing with me today, right? Yeah. Sweet. Well, playing along. I mean, you know. You can't. The best that we can, pick it's Bazaar. the best that we can do. It's the best that we can yeah, do. No. So it's the best we can do. <laughs> I will. I will say I have cheated a little bit because um, I went ahead and started. That's okay. Just to get through all the. Um, just to get through all the intro, but you, you know, no, you want to show that because that's that's cool. But I don't need to show that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I went ahead um, and to point. I was going to do my character creation like you recommended, but I went in to do it and I noticed that there was a cutscene at the very beginning of the game, so I was like, I'm gonna wait yeah. because I don't want anybody to miss out on that cutscene if they've never played this game. So it's not the same startup as on the Xbox. On the Xbox, you get a little bit of a different startup. Mm -hmm. On the Switch, it, it doesn't do the character creation and whatnot. First off, it doesn't start you out in the same place. It gives you like a cutscene. Uh, okay. It gives you a cutscene and then you go straight into playing the first board. On the Xbox, right. the game, when the game originally came out a long, long time ago, which is generally the console I played on because I have the, the disc and all that crap. But I did buy yeah. it for my Switch. It was on sale. I couldn't resist. That's why I got it is because it was on sale. Yeah. So. Dude, I got the best price. I got all seven years, um, which is basically two games because mm -hmm. one through four and then five through seven. But um, with my I little... think it was like like 15 or 20 bucks <laughs> for all of them, if I remember correctly. When I got it um, last year, it was actually on sale. Um, for the Nintendo Online sale, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it was a sale, but anyway, that's when I got it. That's when I got it, and it was nine ninety nine. But I was it nine ninety nine? Yeah, it was nine ninety nine, and I I think with tax it was going to be like right at twelve dollars or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. But I had just purchased Breath of the Wild. Uh, and all the DLC content for Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. And I had a bunch of those um, coin thingies that you can collect on the Switch with the. the I don't know how to spend those. Thingies. <laughs> I've got them. I okay, don't know how to I spend had, them. <laughs> I had no clue. I had no clue. But anyway, when you get all the way to the purchase page, yeah. it actually has an option at the bottom right above where you put your card information yeah that says use my play points or whatever it's called i don't oh. think it's called play points i think play points is playstation but yeah anyway you know I, what I'm I know what you mean about. i know what you mean your your gold coins or platinum coins i can't remember what they are yeah but you can use them there and it automatically deducts your your price it, it takes oh. it off right away and I'll so have to, I'll have to try that next time and see, because... Yeah, try that next time, because I did that, and then when I, my final purchase, it actually only cost me four ninety nine. That's so cheap. So it was that literally so the, like, deal of the century. It was like... Hey, Big Thor, I yeah! Pass, you know, um, it was just... I don't blame you for using that bigger screen, Debbie, because from what I've heard from other people... It's a game that would be better on a bigger screen if you're going to be playing it on mobile. Um, so I don't blame you for that. I absolutely agree with that statement. Yeah. It's, my, it's got so much visual going on with it. Yeah. And there's kind of how the dueling board is set up and everything. The, piece, mm -hmm. the PC screen is much better to view, I believe, yeah. on. Or if you're using like an iPad or tablet or something. Definitely. Or like a note. A note yeah. would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So I've got the game turned down right now because there's music playing and this is the type of music that will get my channel copyright claimed. So we're not going to turn it up until I get the option to mess with the audio. Hey, Iron Man. How are it you? It should be after. It probably won't be until you actually get into the board 
but once you get into the board, you can hit the plus button for the pause menu. Okay. And you should get um, a volume controls there. Okay. You can just imagine the sounds they're making right now. They're going, ah, ah, ooh, ah, oh. See, there you go. You don't even need the sound. You got me. I'm doing well. Like, How are you doing? <laughs> it does have a cool function on it so that you can turn the music all the way off and leave the sound effects on, like, medium volume. Thank goodness. Because see, you do have your little, controls. um, you have Those your non-copyright music you can have on in the background for me. Yeah, I can't change it yet. These are just all the game controls, so. All right, so we'll go new game. This is where I started it earlier, but we're gonna overwrite it because I didn't actually do anything because I realized there was a cut scene that I wanted you guys to be able to see too, so. That's very cute. So you have the like little music that's at the beginning of Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully I won't get claimed if I turn it up now. Hopefully we're okay. <laughs> if I will, if I get claimed, I'm just gonna have to go back and mute it and it'll just be a loss for however long it takes it to mute it. So it is what it is. <laughs> This is, like I said, my first time playing any of these LEGO games as well. I've never played any of them, but I have to play the Harry once you're in the Once you're in the Leaky Cauldron, you should be able to adjust the music. <laughs> Why does bald baby Harry look hilarious with the little LEGO thing on top of his head where you would put his hair, though? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> they have so many little details, like everybody's like, oh, Lego game. But legitimately, they have so many little details in these Lego games that just make me laugh out loud when I Oh see my god, them. the owls look creepy with the notes in their mouth just then. They look they so look creepy. So creepy. <laughs> I hate the I hate the spiders, the Lego spiders. They are they freak me out so bad. Spiders in general freak me out, so Well the Lego spiders were really creepy looking. I'm just like I feel like on? Lego letters flying at you would be super dangerous because they would be like <laughs> stiff and hard. <laughs> like <laughs> like any any person who has ever stepped on a lego block right now imagine a lego letter flying right. at your head because <laughs> that's that's gone. no joke that's a hellish level of cursing right there if you've ever stepped on a lego block <laughs> i'm doing really well debbie debbie wants to know how everyone is grace and stuff and syrups Grace is um, getting ready. She's um, on her way to work, so I don't know if she's, like, available to chat. <laughs> but how are you doing, Steph? Maybe Steph had to walk away for a second. Okay, music is off now, so we should be good there. Um, let me make sure I have the game turned up loud enough for you guys. Just making it. You know, that's better than better than nothing. How's Allie doing? Is she doing better today? She is she is doing better. Um Good. it's just I don't know. One of those things just gonna take her time, I guess, to just kinda get back to Yeah, I'm hundred sure. percent. But sure. I mean, she's she's recovering a lot faster than an adult with a pneumonia would. So that's good. Thank God for youth on that part. Right. Miss uh, so. Syrup says missing the game a little, but else okay. I'm glad you're doing okay. Otherwise, 
So you can switch characters, so... Who else do I get to play as if I hit X? Hold on. Oh, I get to oh play my as Hagrid right or Harry. Right now you're just Hagrid or Harry because you're playing story mode. On free, free play mode, though, um, you can be any character that you have unlocked. Ooh, so right okay. now, right now in Diagon's Alley, um, well, you're in the Leaky Cauldron right now. I suggest that you swap to Hagrid because Harry doesn't have a wand yet. Okay. And anything that lights up green or purple, okay. you can use magic on. So you'll use your A button to shoot magic and you'll use your, hold down your A button to make things that are on the floor that glow kind of assemble themselves or whatnot. Okay. Um, there's a couple of things in there. And we keep I the same say. amount of like coins and stuff no matter who we're playing, it looks like, so. Yeah, your coins will will um Oh that's fun. Oh my god. I can't think of the word I want to use right now. So do you have anything oh. for us? I'm giving Perfect. this is a shakedown. This is a shakedown. What do you got? Give us your money. <laughs> Yeah, literally, um, in, in the Leaky Cauldron, blast everything. If you go over to the bar, you can, um, see on opposite ends of the bar, one side near the fireplace and the other near a keg of ale. Yeah. There's some wood on the ground. You want to assemble that. Um, it's going to make a picture frame on the wall. You want one on each end of the bar to get a special treat. Um... Get out of our way, sir. Oh my god, this is so fun. Look at us cleaning up. We're so helpful. This, except for this. Sorry, you're in the way. <laughs> I miss it too. We've had... Had about four brilliant yeah, yeah by now i can say i guess you know i am lucky on one part that i have not been able to focus on how much i really miss my game because you've been much busy to covid and i've been dealing yeah. with that and um then it went pneumatic and so then i've been dealing with that so it's been kind of plateau as far as getting my kid better. Let's make it to this step. Let's make it to this step. Right. And so that's what the majority of my energy has been focused on. You've been distracted, which is a good thing. Yeah, not for a good reason, I mean, but it's a good thing. Not for a good reason, but I almost want to say it was a blessing. That's kind of how I it, feel about, like, uh the timing of the game yeah. ending and my birthday and everything too because i was yeah. like well the game's ending but at least like i have other plans and i'm going to you know do stuff so it'll still be yeah. a nice distraction even though like there was several times that because i've still got the game on my phone while i was gone i tried to open the game and i was like nope like that's that's you're not going to be able to do that you're not going to be able to do that Oh my gosh, I, I, I caught myself the other day. Well, I didn't catch myself, I guess, but, and that was the whole problem. I didn't delete Wizards Kingly off my phone. I've still not deleted source, it off my phone. One. I haven't either. Um, you can't get that handle yet. It's, it's upstairs. But, did you find the... I can't okay, see what you're yeah, doing. I can, I can, I can hear. hear I'll, sh I'll share my see. I'll share my screen. Hold on. So that way you can see it here too. Um, share screen. There you go. You should be able to see oh, it now. Steph. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Um. So I just um, switched to Harry because I had to use him to get up here. Yeah, you just pick that it's up. A to pick up the highlighted ego. Ooh, I, I just said ego objects. Ego, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lego my then, ego. <laughs> then just um, just walk off. Just walk off the platform there. 
It won't hurt you? No. Whee! You won't break. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Okay. Now, switch back to Hagrid. Okay. Now, you see that green wizard in the chair? Yeah. Blast his butt. I was trying to blast him earlier and it wouldn't show oh, okay. him as like a, hold something down, I could interact with. Um, hold, face him and hold down the A button. Face him. Okay. And hold down the A well, thank you, door. That wasn't what we wanted. We I wanted know. to blast the green wizard. But okay. The whole time it's been trying wait. to blast everything around him and wouldn't let me do him. Don't know why. The, um, I don't know why, but you're supposed to be able to blast him. Maybe it won't let you blast him until you come back. Uh, the bar stool's right there. Yeah. Oh, you can, that's, that's you can magic them. Hmm. You can magic them. And then once you magic them, they'll form a ramp for you. And you oh, can climb up there and get your Gryffindor crest piece. Okay. I see how that worked. Got it. Um, Carried on playing Pikmin. Played more puzzles and spells, but a PlayStation. Wow! Puzzles 498. That's awesome. I I'm should be not... able to remember, but I don't. I'm... I think there was a keg you could blast open for a character token. I'm still not playing Pikmin, but I have played some puzzles and spells, and I will be playing um, Hogwarts Mystery with you guys, too, so. Alright, get friendly with your A button and just literally walk out there and just spam the crap out of it and smash and break any and everything that you can. Who are we waving to? <laughs> You're waving to Madam. You're waving to Madam Malkin. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, coins, 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 coins. So many coins. There's lots of coins. Um. I feel like we're probably gonna need the coins. So they disappear you really will quickly. Need the coins. Assemble that street sweeper, you will need it. You do need the coins, but I will say, um, on story mode, don't focus on getting, like, true wizard and collecting every coin you can. Oh, okay. Some boards, some boards you can get true wizard on is that story, Quirrell? story mode. Is that Quirrell? In the purple? That is Professor. <laughs> that is Professor Quirrell. Oh my god, his purple turban. That is Professor Quirrell. Um, literally kind of just break everything through here. There's, uh, there's some green chairs on top of the thing up there. That lifts Harry up to collect those coins. Ah, uh, I see. Alright, Harry, jump up here. Oh, no, not yeah, yet! Harry. I wasn't ready! <laughs> Your co-wizard will do that to you often. <laughs> that was a student in peril. Yay! Oh, we saved them. Look at us. Look at us go. Yeah. You I'm have one student that. in peril. Go. You have one of those in every single area. Oh, really? Okay. That's yeah. So it may not even be a playable board. Like, once you get to Hogwarts, like, each different section, like, there's a student in peril in the Great Hall. Mm -hmm. There's a student in peril over in... <laughs> over in your Hogwarts house. There's... They're, like, they're just everywhere. And there's one on every single playable board as well. So... Let's see. I think there's, like, a hundred of those evil little students. How can we get Harry up on the thing up there? Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, um... You have to make the bouncy thing. There's some pieces back there of one of them. It's the red top. Oh, there it was. I seen it. That thing? You have to stand on that thing and it'll, it'll make you jump up there with the cat. Oh, I see. It's bouncy. Okay. Yeah, if you hold B, you jump extra high. Oh my god. I am 
Excuse me, sir. Get off our bouncer. Right? We did share. We were not sharing bouncies with you. Exactly. We did not invite you. Mouth like, go away. We didn't say this was a uh, <laughs> menage a trois bounce. This is a single bounce here. We're solo bouncing, bud. There we go. We got him. Okay. Yay! Purple studs are the most valuable stud in the game. It's worth 10,000 studs for one purple. Ooh. Nice. So, if you ever see a purple stud, you always want to try and grab it. And now we are going to make make um potion. We are the potions masters. Potion master, potion master it up. So oh the flowers, gosh. um, there we go. They go. The red spider. It we goes. Oh shoot! That just scared the crap okay. out of me. Okay. You got it. Oh, don't step in the green stuff. You have to get the street sweeper to sweep it up so Harry can get through. Oh. After you sweep up the green stuff with the sweet street sweeper and Hagrid and Harry can go into Green Guts. Okay. How do we get the street sweeper over there? Um, oh. you ride it. So I'm thinking hit X. Oh, okay. Hit the X button to ride huh. that as Harry. Nope, I can't get on it as Harry. Maybe I can get on it as Hagrid. Let me try. No, Harry rides it. Not the B, not the jump button. It's not B, it's oh, X. Oh, X. Think. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't feel bad. It took me 25 minutes to, to, to get Brita to do that. I get confused about the buttons because between, like this controller and this controller and my playstation controller they're all different yeah like they're all different completely different setups um Rita, poor poor love bless her heart um she has an even even more difficult time because she is not a gamer period right Ever. she's not owned any gaming consoles and so she's actually playing the PC version, which is a little bit different than the Switch version. Is it? Yeah, and her her controller is a Logitech PC adaptable controller. Yeah. And the buttons have weird names, like L1 and L2 or F button mm. or Z button. And so I'm like, it's not the jump button, it's the other button. <laughs> and then she was like switching characters and I'm like no that's your switching character that's your button three it's not button three I think it must be button number four and she's that's like which so one's annoying. button four and I'm like I don't know darling because I don't have the same control as you but it literally took us 25 minutes that's and our, so our, I think me and her both were about to lose our minds Dan literally came yeah. out of his office <laughs> like going okay is it this button is it this button? Is it just button? Hey, is it at this least one? she has him to help so, her. That's nice. She was like, oh my god, I feel so stupid. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm a gamer. No, 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 no. And I can't say that I'm not because how can anybody who had their first game system at the age of six and has had one since then for the right. entirety of her life? I mean, that's 40 years later. 41, if we're going to be real specific. Um, <laughs> And no, not say not. that they're not a gamer, and I can't tell you how to do it either, so don't feel like it. Yeah, she's not stupid. Like, no, she's out stuff by in far. games can be challenging, so. Yeah, and she has no console experience, so this whole console world, the legacy world, all of that is gonna be new for her. Rita, Rita's working it on a huge learning curve. Hey, but it's you know what? If she can her. do it, it shows that, like, you know, other people can too. Which Adaptability, is awesome. baby. Exactly. Literally. And she said that. She said that on her stream. She's like, look, I know this is painful to watch, but if I could do it, anybody should do it. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Oh, this, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. going to bring a lot of people who've never really played games, games before into the gaming world, which is going to be really. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a cool experience for everybody. It's kind of like um, 
how like Pokemon Unite has brought people who've never played like MMORPGs into the MMORPG world, you know? That'll be yeah, I agree. Hey Josh, how are you? How's Philly love? I'm so jealous. I miss you... you guys so much. Josh, are you home yet? Are you on your way home? If you are, please tell me you're not here while you're driving and you're being safe. Happy birthday. Yeah, well, <laughs> if he's still driving, it's technically Rose. Rose is going to be texting for Josh if he's oh, still okay, driving. okay, okay, okay. Rose might be driving and Josh might be breaking because I know Josh <laughs> picked her up. I know Josh picked her up via DC on his way oh, over okay. there. He said he just got back home around 30 minutes ago. Just <clears throat> look at you unpacking already. Look I wish I was you. like that. <laughs> yeah, like, I get home and I'm like, oh, I guess I need to unpack. Okay, well, we'll do that sometime. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this week. I, w I wish Steph and I could have yeah. been there too, Josh, but you know what? There's always going to be the next trip that we all go do something fun. And the next one, Steph is definitely not missing out. I am picking her butt up and throwing her in my van and kidnapping her regardless of how she feels or the situation or what's going on. I don't care. <laughs> like, Steph I don't care. Deal. He is gone. She is out of here. No sickness, I swear. I'm gonna quarantine him for three weeks before any before any new wizards trips. I'm gonna be like, nope, can't. I'm sorry, you can't leave the house for three weeks. I need you to be well, right? And not sick or injured on this day. And the only way I can do that is you just you just can't leave the house. I'm sorry. How do I switch to Hagrid? It's not letting me switch to Hagrid. I don't want to be the. I wasn't done looking. Around. Oh, you have to. You have to be the goblin. To unlock the, yeah, you can't do that yet. Did you light up all eight of the of the globes? Yeah, I did. I okay, did all the and globes. you got the purple. You got the purple point for that. Yes, but I wasn't There's done not doing this else. stuff. You can't do that yet. Um, oh, okay. You can't do that yet. You don't have the the magic spells to do that. You need a reducto uh. spell which is Got a red it. spell and I don't think we learned that spell actually until like year three. Oh, there we go. But um, wow. it's the only it's the only spell that will let you blast the blast the silver Legos. Oh, okay. So until you get the red spell, don't even worry about anything silver. Um, okay. And if you see anything that sparkles red magic, just ignore it because you need a dark magic user to oh. activate the red magic. Okay. And it's Adam! quite a minute. It's quite a minute before you get one of those. Hi Adam, how are you doing? How's your how's your trip? Are you having a good time? Oops. Shoot. Listen, Carrie, I need you to jump higher. need to get that one. Yay! Got it! Okay. Cool. Ah. Cool. Okay. My son, I'm sorry you guys have to listen to me smash burgers in the background. My son oh my has... god, you are not bothering me at all. Press any button. Uh, oh, do I have to do it as Harry? No? No, no. You need to be, um, you need to be the little goblin, the goblin. guy. What's his name? Is it Grip Hook? Okay, yeah. and now walk back walk back the other direction and to your right you're going to see a glowing I missed a thing oh no okay it's not yeah right there character. okay hit Y I'm hitting the button there we go okay Right. And you need to be the goblin to hit it I'm again. I'm trying. I'm trying. It like has like some sort of cooldown, I think, between. It it does. It's like a two second thing. Um, when the game first hey, came Tots, out, there was no cooldown, and literally you could breathe on your button selection and be the wrong character. Oh no. 
it was super sensitive. People were not happy about it, and it's one of the things I'm glad they actually did. Yeah. It's great to see you oh. too, Tosh. What have you been up to, friend? You can ride that thing like a skateboard. It's pretty cool to watch Hagrid ride it. He makes funny noises. Oh, I just ran over Hagrid. <laughs> My bad. <Yeah. laughs> and here comes up. My bad. I did not mean to. This, it's hard driving this thing. You can't steer it. It's awful. Oh it's, like a, it's like a, a trolley. <laughs> Off the rails trolley. Oh my god. My son wanted oh. patty melts and he informed me that he needed a double. Oh. So. How long has it been since I've had a bean, Adam? Um, I had beans Friday night. It's but been it's long been enough. Since, it's been since Friday night. That was that was perfect perfect timing. Friday night is a good time to have a bean. Friday night is a good time to have a bean. This is true. And that means today is Sunday and no beans allowed. <laughs> oh, you've been playing Magic Awaken, Touch Touch. How are you liking it? I couldn't get in on the beta because I'm an iOS user. <laughs> what, how, what are you thinking so far? And are you going to the London meet? Well, Touch has to go to the London meet. I agree. I wish I could go to the London meet. I'll be lucky if I get out of South Carolina is, this is year. Is he not strong <laughs> enough to pull that? Is that why? Um, only Hagrid can pull those. Okay. Um, there's a very limited character who can actually pull the strong chains. Crom mm. and Hagrid. Okay. Can pull those, and I think, um, I can't remember which one it is. It's either Crab or Coil, the okay. big one. Potch says it's he likes it, but the it. text is is so small. So that's another reason it sounds like we should be playing on a larger screen then. Screen, yeah. I've And he's not the only person that said the text is so small. Yeah. Oh my god, Potch, if I could come to London, I... You bet your butt, you bet your butt that I would be there. I would love to, um, but um, maybe, I... Maybe Brita and Dan can, can, can do that for us. <laughs> I can hide in Brita <laughs> right? PKs, we can hide in Dan's PKs. Oh my God. So we'll just... <laughs> that sounds like a plan to me. I, I would love to go, but there's no way. I can't afford that kind yeah. of trip right now i think i need to renew my passport too i'm pretty sure it's either expiring or has expired um i need to look it hasn't mattered much if over it, the past two years you know so <laughs> if um, it hasn't if it hasn't expired go ahead and do it before it does expire because if it does expire mm -hmm. i hear the the wait's long the wait time is ridiculously stupid to have it renewed even even though you've had a previous one, it's almost like getting a new one and you're all over again. I've heard that too. I need to I need to dig it out of my mm -hmm. chest and see. I Looking forward to meeting Brita, Dan, and Plotter. Website. You're gonna have so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm jealous you guys get Plotter and Brita. <gasps> And Mark and each other. Oh, cool. <sighs> yeah, you guys better take lots of pictures and videos so I can live vicariously. I love riding with the dolphin on the. I love riding on the Green Goddess train. <laughs> it's fun. Um, so basically you gotta put the torches on the wall. I need Hagrid to pull out his wand. There he goes. And I can't And it doesn't that matter which one of these um yeah, it doesn't matter which goblin door which which door you go into first. You have to go into both of them. 
Does that cause damage to me if there. I go underneath the? If you walk oh, yeah. in the fire, okay. it will it will um, so you just walk <laughs> beside it and pull the pull the lever. And now Goblin Goblin Boy can unlock the the doors for you, and you can go into each vault. I think the first vault has some stuff you can break in it, and that Ooh. vault is just Harry's gold. Look at all the gold. <coughs> Harry's like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm no longer a boy, poor boy who nobody loves. <laughs> Under the stairs? <laughs> no, just... sir. You think that there's my green bat behind me? Right? Going back to the stairs. Oh, that's too bad, Debbie. Oh, I didn't get to do the other vault. It's okay. Every that's what I was saying. Don't worry about anything you miss on story story mode because when you play it on free play, it's so much more fun. You can literally interact with everything because you have all the characters and Okay. You can do each thing like it's supposed to be done. Because in that first vault, you can break a, th a few things, but there's a silver lock in there that you can't do anything with at all. Right. Okay. That makes. And you can't sense. until until you do the free play. So mm. I'm really bad. Mm. I will I will guiltily admit to oh. when I play these mm. games, mm -hmm. I speed run the story mm. mode. Mm. Just I so speed you can get the to the free play. play. Speed, speed run the story mode all the way through, and then once I'm done with that, then I'm like, okay, well now it's time to actually go explore, collect studs, do all the things that, right. you know, it's really, you know, the thing I love about these games. Oh no, a headwig is creepy too! Yeah, they all look kind of funny, don't they, the little apples? Why didn't they paint eyeballs on them? They look creepy! I don't know, but I will say once you get to Hogwarts, you can um, in the dormitory because that's where you're headed to now. Uh, you should be after the little cutscene with Thornton Hat and all that. You should wind up in the dormitory, and there's Hedwig on a on an owl stand. Yeah. And I like I like that owl, like the depiction. I don't okay. know why they all look like that. That is that. Yeah, but the one like that, they're creepy looking. They're so creepy. It's gonna be about two hundred pounds for you. Oh wait, yeah, that's a little little on the pricey side. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Debbie. Ooh. The Bun Club are having a get together for the meetup. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I want some buns touched. No fair. Booked an open air oh, cinema on the fifteenth of May to see Prisoner of Ass. Oh my God, that's gonna be so cool! That's so and cool. The Philly Debbie. crew had all had donuts today. I was so jelly. I saw um, Josh's pictures that he posted from the ramen place, and I was oh, like, <laughs> my, drool, yeah. drool! Oh my God, it looks yeah. so good. It, it looks so, so good. good. Hey, I'm gonna meet myself real fast while I um, get this stuff in the oven so it's not no a battery rattle. No worries. Hmm. This is where I stopped. Ah! Friend joy! But yeah. It's a oh great pet scene. That was Percy. Oh, it looked like Molly. Oh, I see, because that one's Molly. Oh no, why did Percy look like a girl? Oh. Because he's so prissy. Prissy Percy. <laughs> you thought of us while you were eating your food, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My bun consumption has dropped dramatically since Wizards Unite ended. I mean, that's probably good for your health, to be fair. Um, but is it good for your mental health? I don't know. Physical health, I'm sure. But mental health, I don't know. Let's get you guys some, uh, some stars. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May 
mentally I need buns, right? The sorting hat kind of looks like a traffic cone. Is it just me or did it kind of look like a traffic cone? Oh my god, look at Snape. Stop it. They're all just wearing different colored traffic cones on their head. <laughs> Double doors, so please. I love it. Gryffindor common room. Hold Y to target objects with spells. Oh. Oh, fancy. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm -mm. Oh, all the canopies off the bed. All of them? Mm -hmm. Yep. There's four of them. Blow every one of them off. Right. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Oh, cool, but I can do something to that. Alright, let me try, try the books again. No, cannot. Okay. Okay. Flower po Oh, sorry, Ron. My bad. Not doing anything. Okay. Why? Oh, I can do wrong. <laughs> He's probably like, what the hell? Can I- Oh, I can play as Ron, too. Heck yeah. Get it, Ron. Do some spells. Come on, what are you doing with your life? It's sparkly. You should be able to do something with it. Get all the money. Money, money, money. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A little bit tricky to maneuver, but... Debbie, you said you've played this game, right? Uh, how far did, did you finish it? How far did you get it? Uh, hey, Rel, how are you? I want to do this Okay, stuff. so now... Yeah, it won't let you because you don't have Wingardium Leviosa yet. But oh, you can jump on okay. all of it. See, do you see Hedwig on the outpost here? Yeah, Hedwig is is a little I less like creepy that there. But yeah, still I like has that no eyeballs. Than the other one. <laughs> yeah, they still have no eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -mm. you have to jump off the bed mm -hmm. and grab those points. Mm -mm. If you hold oh B, God. you'll mm -mm. jump super high. There we go. Thank oh, you, sir. Oh, welcome. Ooh, oh, and you on can multi second year. You can multi-target stuff if you hold down the A button and move your wand around the room. It will oh. multi-select targets, so you don't have to fire for fire. It'll like fire, and then it'll just auto fire at all the really? other stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can zap the bedside tables. I, I think I already did the bedside tables. Whoa, what am I doing okay. here? Oh, you're oh. turning into scatters. Oh, Ron can cool. But the other stuff won't work right now because you don't have Wingardium Leviosa. Why um, is scabbers bigger than Hedwig? 
<laughs> exactly. That's what I want to know. Wonder Mom says if you start a team in puzzles and spells, please let her know she will switch to your team. I would love to start a team. I don't think I'm high enough level to do a team yet. Um, but once I get high enough, I, I, I definitely will. And you are more than welcome. She is more than welcome to join my team. So That's about all we can do in there. Um, you can kind of blast some things mm -hmm. with magic, but you can't really do anything here. Behind the couch, there is a Gryffindor Ooh, character him. token. Got him. Oh, ouch. I touched the fire. That was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Oh my god. I've never seen one time. I wish I had a freaking table that cleaned up for me. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that so, nice. um... Okay. Oh, oh. We gotta blast the poster next to the to the chest. The the chest that's bouncing around over there. Yeah, in front of the door. If you if you zap the wizard's chest board, it'll play a game of wizard's chest for you. Oh, fun! And if you zap all the furniture, funny things happen. The red furniture. Oh, it shrinks! That's cute. Money, money, money! Can we wake him up? Oh, ah. yeah, you can wake him up. Oh, no, the sofa yeah. ate him! <laughs> oh, my bad, sir. My bad. <laughs> I think if he's... I think he might can zap him now that he's all toasted. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Oh, okay. Okay, it un... un him. That's good. He's probably like this asshole. I think he's your student in peril for that. Oh, for that okay. Yeah, control. I just got it. We're the ones who put him in peril, but okay. <laughs> we'll come over there in just a second, Mr. Table. Don't worry. Patience. Patience, Mr. Table. Oh, I can't zap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she said she's excited. She's not on a good team, so she hasn't been playing much. All right. Well, hopefully we can put a good team together. I'm currently on the Amelia's um, team that there's so many people that doesn't that, that don't have a team. I actually thought about starting one, but you should do it. Huh. Press Y to wait. Press Y to cast on paintings and orange flames. Frames, not flames. <laughs> I didn't mean to remove your pants, sir. That was that was not my intent. I apologize. Oh, oh, that's right. That's what we have to do here. Um, I'm cooking. I should have cooked earlier. I'm just making oh, you're healthy. Steph, you're fine. Don't worry. The dresser, the the clothing dresser, it has to eat mm -hmm. all the parts. So it needs a shirt and it needs to eat pants. Mm -hmm. And I think. It eats a piece of hair or something, but once it's eaten all the component parts for the student mm -hmm. outfit, it will move out of your way, and you can go oh, out the I door. I didn't mean to run in there. Oh, you can zap the chest table. That's funny. It plays out the little wizarding chest. I thing. love it. I want to get a wizard's chess board. Somebody sells them, and it's it, they like the pieces are magnetic or something. And yeah, I want I one. I can't remember where I seen that at. 
It might have been at like Hot Topic or Box Lunch. I wouldn't be shocked, honestly, if Hot Topic had that. Oh, it moved. The dresser moved, so you can go outside now. Okay. I think I'm zapped. And then when you go out, <clears throat> when you go out here, just follow the ghost studs because in the proper in the castle proper there's technically nothing you can do right now except for collect studs because you've not been to your first class yet which is where the ghost studs uh, are leading you. okay so headless that nick is hilarious i'm nearly headless nick he will guide you and leave the little ghost studs okay so if you follow the ghost studs you are in the right direction I'm just picking up the coins right now. <laughs> um, you might can zap the... Uh, uh, yeah, you can. You oh, can hit the pennant, the blue and white pennant on the wall. The you can blue... hit the, the hanging thing on the wall. This thing? Yeah, you can hit that. Oh, okay. Alright, and make sure you hit each one for every house. Oh, okay, so okay. So that's Ravenclaw. I'm on a good Hufflepuff team, and their timing works for me. Oh, well, that's good. There's the stuff. Hufflepuff. Um, I think Gryffindor has two. Oh my goodness. This one. Yep, one on the other side. And then the last one is Slytherin. Playing more Pokemon and giving Pikmin a go. Send me a request. Yes! Um, I will need to add you on Pokemon Touch unless we're already friends. I don't remember because I haven't checked Pokemon in a while. Um, but um, I'm not playing Pikmin. But if you want, um, I can also... Or if you want to do it, you can. But I can also drop your codes into Discord if you want me to put, post them in there. Job. Right. You have Dude. five gold bricks now. Yay. Heck yeah. Only characters oh, you who can't. can speak parcel tongue can talk to these snakes. Ooh. But we don't know that Harry speaks parcel tongue yet, do we? Yeah, you you can't do anything with it until after you hit that part in the light. Oh, it ate Harry. Yeah. <laughs> it ate him and sent him back out. That's funny. So just follow the ghost studs to um Professor Flit Flitwick's room. Alright, let me copy and paste this for you real quick, Touch. Uh, friend codes. This is from Touch. Touch is playing Feed Me Seymour. He's playing what? The Feed Me Seymour game. The oh, the Pikmin one? Is that what you're calling it? Feed yeah. Me Seymour? Yeah. That's, Feed that's Me Seymour. That's cute. <laughs> Uh, like, yeah. It's what it reminds me of. It's like all these little flowers going, I need fed. Walk over here and feed me. No, walk over here and feed me. I'm a bigger flower. I need more food. It reminds me of like, baby Teletubbies, so that's why I don't play little, it. Little shop, of, little shop of plant horrors game. Ron can send scabbers into pipes to solve puzzles. Oh, okay, so I needed to change to Ron then. Press A to release yeah. scabbers. Oh. Whew. All right. Well. Okay. So this is a good point. I will point this uh -huh. out to you because you can see it really well. You see how the wizard in the frame yeah. is wearing? It's what color she's wearing? Yeah. Further into the game, you will see wizards like this. And they won't work for you. And oh. they won't be wearing red. They'll be okay. an all yellow or all green or all blue. Oh, it's based on the house. Or they'll be a female wizard or a male wizard. Uh-huh. Or they'll be a young wizard or an old wizard. So, mm -hmm. literally, that's what they want to respond to. If you're not a Gryffindor, they'll say, you're not in the right house. Uh. If you're not young... If, if you're not old enough, they'll be like, uh, you need to be an older person, so you have to switch to, like, one of the adult characters, like Snake or McGonagall, mm -hmm. to get into that room. 
Um, I see. There's a girl's there's a girl's bathroom. Harry has to use a girl's disguise uh-huh. to get in. So, um, if you ever walk up to a frame and they don't respond to you, it's because you're not the right house or you're not the right sex or age. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm not too bothered about the mechanics of Pikmin, but it does keep me walking. Well, that's good. That's always a good thing. Hey, Cindy, how are you? How was, uh, how was hockey practice today? Yeah, you had a busy weekend. You had a very busy weekend. Cindy should sleep for the entirety of the week until she leaves. I agree. To to oh, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, well, I didn't that need to That is go not that an way. option, ladies. <laughs> That's not an option. Yeah, I think you, should, you should be able to sleep, but you'll never get to. You've got a week to No, we just looked at the weather. Right? Friday, it's supposed to ice. So we oh, are now no. going to Thursday night and go down to D.C. Uh, early or we'll never make it to our train on time on Friday. Oh, my so God. Less Please time be than safe, I thought. Cindy. We have to take the dogs to the vet on Monday so they can go to the kennel on Thursday. And mm -hmm. yeah, just so okay, many crack, things to get done between crack, now crack, and then. And both boys are working this week. So, yeah. Please be very here. safe, Cindy. Please be very safe. So what's the weather like down there right now? <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, it's beautiful. It's, it's what if today. Shorts or jeans <laughs> or both? Um, you're gonna be in South Florida, so I would say no. you can probably wear shorts. Well, um, not South Florida. I, I well, I consider Orlando South Florida. It's Central <laughs> Florida. But like for for me, it's South Florida. Um, you you'll probably be able to wear sh you'll probably be able to wear shorts. Um, I would bring a jacket though, um, because it is chilly at night, especially. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, yeah, you'll probably be able to wear shorts. It's not. I don't think it's so cold that you need pants. I was walking around in Philly with the 18 degrees and the wind blowing. <laughs> Just uh. No, it's not Philly weather. I was fine. <laughs> Yeah. Leggings and a t-shirt. Leggings and a t-shirt for the day would be like okay. the most you would want to wear. Yeah. And then at night, like Dana said, jacket at night because after the sun goes down, the temperature does drop considerably. Mm -hmm. still. I, I didn't Ooh. even need a jacket like being out and about today. I was running errands, but I needed it once I went to the beach because I went to the beach to eat my brunch and. It, there it was chilly because the wind <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. yeah no but otherwise so we're thinking you know packing like a light rain jacket or something just in case breaker. that's a good idea that's a good idea yeah definitely <laughs> if right. you have a small travel umbrella you can pack a couple of them it you might know, be a good Counting his carrying lightning attractors like umbrellas so we, we pretty much just have a good raincoat. That's our thing now to get the the good raincoats, and you just whip them out and put them on, and keep on going with what you're doing, and not worrying about juggling or breaking umbrellas or whatever else. So, yeah, yeah. We need to we need to jump up there and push that stuff off the top, or magic it off the top. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, you were in the right place. Doesn't Guardian Leviosa yet? Not yet. Not yet, because she won't follow the ghost studs. She hasn't gone to class. <laughs> so she may not be able to do it. You rebels? Yeah, it's not gonna. I'll it's follow gonna, the gonna studs. Gonna I promise. Idea. I'm just doing. I'm. I'm. I'm doing my own thing right now. The opposite of phasmophobia. Instead of looking for them, you're avoiding them. <laughs> yeah, she's avoiding the spells. Um. But I'm just yeah, running around you. being chaotic is what I'm doing. That's typical show yeah. stuff, you know. Oh, you have a student hanging from the bookcase there. I see If you that. shoot the bookcase, you can jump up the books and save them. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have, oh, no, you can't because you don't have Wingardium. You can't. Uh, I have to have Wingardium yet. first. I can't just make him fall. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and even after you... Like, Brita was like, look, dude, I put the books up there for you. You mean I have to actually jump up there and get you down? <laughs> <laughs> why but you gotta be so lazy? On come on, come was on. Laughing. She was like, why you gotta be so lame? 
Rachel, do you, you can't like follow the, the lift ladder? It's a Lego Harry Potter. This is only on the Switch, though, right? Um, I think they I have it on the know. Xbox, too. Oh, we have PlayStation. Um... <laughs> yeah, you can get this on PSN, Cindy. Oh, I was okay. thinking Rachel might enjoy this this game. Yeah. No. You can get a you can get a digi download from, from the PSN store for this game, or you can order this game from GameStop. It's generally about five dollars at GameStop. Okay. Because it's That's an cool. older game that yeah. um, that came out for Xbox uh, 360, yeah. so okay. that was three consoles ago. If that tells Ooh. you. Anything else. You said PlayStation 4 also. But the yeah, five hundred. Nice. Audible, so it, uh, we should be able to do it. Yeah. PSN. Oh, okay. Yeah, Debbie's got them on PlayStation. Yep. I have yep. the Lego <laughs> games. On Xbox, my shoulder here and giggling at uh, Shanna's chaoticness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun, Rachel. I, Rachel will probably really like it. Um, That's my thought. And right now, I, I have think. <laughs> There's a new Star Wars Lego pack that's coming out where uh -huh. um, the first Lego games that came out yeah. for video game was actually Star Wars. And it did not yes, age well. Yes, I remember well. that. It did not age well. It was great at its time, but it did not age well. So they remastered all of those and um, they're putting out a new... Um, they're putting it out all remastered, I think, in about a month. A whole new oh, cool. Star Wars like special pack. That'll be cool. So, yeah, it'll be cool. I want to revisit those oh. games, but I don't enjoy playing them in their original format because. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Rut row, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so yeah, you have Wing Guardian. I see you. I went to Guardian every now. Oh, gosh. Yay! We're in class. Oh, look at me, Oh, God, the devil blocks. The devil blocks. Oh, yeah, you'll understand. You just wait, okay. darling. Okay. <laughs> I'm picking up my um, coins, then we'll go. Okay. Yeah, so basically anything that glows, you need to zap with magic. So, okay. um, so just go ahead and zap. A zap all the Guardian Leviosa. Oh, that's nifty. Save the student. Yay! I think the candelabras just give you coins. Oh, sorry guys, that's my timer. Oh, you're good, don't worry. Couldn't even hear it. You're good. Alright. So, rank look. Oh my god, what is on his face? In the painting? Is that the Monster Book of Monsters? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, bash the tree. And keep doing it until it breaks all the way down. Okay. Got there are some things like trees and grass that need more than one hit. Okay. Um, okay. That that bucket over there, I think it's got a snake in it. That's fun. Um, um, can I do that, that while I stand on it to get the stuff up there? If you stand on it, Hermione or Ron will lift you. Uh, okay, there we go. Perfect. There you go. Okay, so do you see the picture on the wall above you? Uh, the Lego one or the one with the dude with the, the monster book of monsters on it? The face? Lego picture. So it has okay. the purple on the bottom. That's already there. So now you want to arrange the blocks like the picture on the wall. So put the green uh, on the purple. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Other side, so you can, you're building stairs so you can climb up to the top level. Uh, oh, 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 over here. Okay. I see what you're saying. So, nope. 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 Put it flat. 
a little hard to maneuver. And now you know there why I go. called them okay. devil block. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, right. the last devil block. And it's going to go up all the way to the far right and down. There. Oh, there you what, go. And oh, what, 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 see? See? Devil blocks. No! There we go. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, yeah, now just jump up. You're good to go. I didn't do that to these. Ah. Yeah, you gotta go back up top, so. Okay. Going. Alright, how do I help this guy? Yep, lift that and let him down. Is he gonna get down? Is he just gonna hang Not down? yet, because all the things... You, oh, it's like a puzzle, so you have oh, to do all the pieces. Oh, okay. So, Got it. smash that with picture. Oh. And then the hand will come out. Now assemble it. Oh, I see. Now do the weight okay. and the claw will hold it and the student can get down. Curious question about YouTube and Twitch. If you're playing a game and it shows partial nudity, will you get in trouble? Um, you won't on Twitch if it's part of the game. On YouTube, I wouldn't risk it because so even on They have some really funny Exactly. So like even on, on Twitch, like if I'm playing this and I have the music turned on all it does is mute the video on demand, the playback. It doesn't do anything to my stream. I don't get in trouble. There's no copyright issue. But I had to turn the music off to play it on YouTube because YouTube will copyright claim me. Um, and it's just, that's one of the things where, I mean, I've said it time and time again, Twitch is a better streaming platform, period. And um, it's one of the things I think YouTube really needs to work on um and then when it comes to the nudity thing too like if it's part of the gameplay like there shouldn't be an issue but it's youtube so there is probably i don't trust it i wouldn't trust it but on twitch you're fine you just have to make sure that if it's it's that type of game that it is um your stream is marked as mature um Fuck you. that's the only thing I know what I, I I agree with that. Um, Do I just get to endlessly 100%. move these books or something? There they go. Okay, that must be the last one. What game are you trying to play with partial nudity, Rel? Maybe Cyberpunk. Hipsy's talking about playing that on Monday. Dude, I tried to play Cyberpunk on stream. I cannot do it. Like, okay. it takes too much okay. concentration. And I can't focus on that game and on streaming at the same time. It's too much. It's too much for my little pea brain. Um, can't do it. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. You gotta build the knight, so you yeah. gotta put the parts on. Um, give him his head next, and then his sword. Oh, the sword has to go last. Well, no, it took it. I think. Oh, it didn't. There we go. So play okay, the Witcher on Twitch. Certain monsters aren't sexy and are sex. Oh my god, aren't sexy? Don't have clothes. Oh, okay, so I shouldn't play The Witcher mobile on um, YouTube then. That is good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Wingardium Leviosa unlocked. Oh. Yay! Gold bricks. Six out of 200. That's a lot of gold bricks. Now just call it your style. Alright. And I don't think there there's anything else you can do in in there right now. Okay. 
I need to get those blocks. You can't get them. Well, no, I think actually if you make a, like a convoluted stair thing. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking was that maybe I can make my own set of stairs. So put the green block down and then the blue block. Or no. Yeah. Green block then blue block. Oh no. Get back over there. Yeah, they're devil blocks because they won't lock in. Alright. Except this. for in their like designated place, so they'll kind of move around on you. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> I can't get the purple one. I'm so close. You would have to. Mm, I'd have to stack it. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna try to stack it. If we okay. were two players, you would have this because you could you stand could... on the blue block and then I could lift you up. Right, exactly. I don't know why they don't that's, allow on my floor. That's... Oh, yeah, that's kind Steph. of what that is intended for. It's five dollars right now. Download this game, Unravel Two. We can play it together. It's an online co-op game. It's on sale for five dollars right now. It's called Unravel Two. It's kind of like It Takes Two, is is how okay. I um, understood it. It looks pretty cute, and it's on sale for five dollars right now. To all, I will have to check that out after dinner. Oh, I don't. I remember think that's now why I don't make patty melts often. Get this nope, it only faces that direction. The hags in The Witcher are worse than Wizards Unite. That's what I've heard. I've heard that if you don't like the hag in Wizards Unite, you're not gonna like it in The Witcher. I'm gonna tell you what game got me this weekend, and I didn't expect anything like that to actually, like, seriously freak me out. But yeah! puzzles and spells... Puzzles and Spells had a thing, has some puzzles in it. Yeah. Um, where you have to like uncover the spider webs. Oh. And when you do, like these, this ball of spiders, it's like the spider web gave birth or something, and it uh -huh. explodes with like hundreds of these spiders, and they crawl all over your screen. And oh my god, the sound effect for it. Oh my god, oh Jesus. No, he just put us in an ice cube block for zapping him. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah, hit that's... Filch? Uh, no, we hit, um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's supposed to be Flitwick. Oh, okay, Flitwick. With his little mustache. Oh, oh okay, I see you. Yeah, no, yeah, that's Flitwick. What do we get? Oh, you're finished in his classroom. You can go out. Don't worry about missing things in his classroom. You come back to it several times. He teaches okay. you lots of spells. Here's your apple, kid. Oh, wait. There you go. You're welcome. That'll be five dollars. <laughs> I'm playing... Oh, oh I'm you're playing the beta on Magic Awakened. What do you, what do you think about it? You can get, I, so we were talking about that a little bit, about how it would be better on a bigger screen. So, like, if you were playing on, like, a tablet or something, or, like, a PC screen. Um, but, like, other than that, what do you, what do you think about it, Rel? Do you like the game? I am on iOS, so I can't play. But, you know, eventually. Oh, Sushan, I didn't let iOS stop me from checking it out. When I Did you download get, uh, the, the, the APK thing? I couldn't get the emulator to load on my computer either, so... Oh! And I've used the emulator in the past, so I borrowed my son's phone. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I was playing it occasionally on his. I only did a few sessions, but it was enough to know that I really liked it, and the screen oh, is too... Small. 
So. I mean, this, you think the screen's too small, too? That Everybody seems to be the, the consensus. Maybe you can put it on your iPad or something. You know, they're hoping that it'll work on their tablets. Yeah, that's what yeah. I keep hearing from everybody. His, his phone's much smaller than mine, too, so I, I don't know. It, it was just, it was hard. Couldn't yeah. read everything, and yeah. So, I think when Matt's been doing the demos live of it on YouTube, he's been playing it with an emulator on his PC. Because he's That's talking about how Mod did controls. it. The mouse controls weren't responding as well as a touch would. Yeah, that's how Mod did it when Mod played. Oh, oh okay. shoot! I I didn't see Mod play it much. Evil he orcs it, in the house. Again. He played it when it oh, dropped okay. in China. Yeah, he was playing it um, in China. Yep. Yeah. Until I they they him. caught on and they booted him. So. He <laughs> did. Okay. Because there were all kinds of people putting instructions out there for how to do it. There's no so that means for. He won't sign the treaty, so you're going to war. Oh, he signed the treaty. Oh, he did sign it, and you're going to war anyway. That doesn't seem very fair play. <laughs> he broke. He you, he broke the terms of the treaty. Yes. Oh, and so now you're going to kill him. <laughs> what game is he playing? He's a giant eye. He's a spirit within a giant eye. A spirit. Uh, we are we are currently in Mordor, uh, fellow oh, friends. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm talking to Shanna and Cindy and everybody around the world. On the Hordes of undead. Hordes of undead. Hordes of undead. Hordes of work on. We are. Oh. We are in some definite trouble over here. It, it sounds like real serious trouble, honestly. You better go take care of that those wards before they hurt you. <laughs> Pandemonium out here, he said. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, you can come stand on those and do us. Whatever it is is in the refrigerator because now that's where he is. It's magical. Uh, it's that's fair, Rel. <laughs> Do you oh, think serious. if it's released on like a PC or something, you would play it then? I don't know he did. <laughs> He's hilarious. Oh my gosh, yes, yep, this was life at my house. <laughs> hey, at least things are interesting. Uh, oh, this is life in the house, excuse me. Oh, I just, under, it blues. Underneath the house, apparently. We have underneath? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Not underneath the house, the Hall of Heroes. The Hall of Heroes under the house? Okay, <laughs> we're good to go, then. We're good to go. <laughs> I don't know what the Hall of Heroes is. Am I? I I'm uninformed. Mm. Oh boy. Mm. And I do mean missing. Mm hmm. In the libraries, I did find that we are still fighting. What what genre have we entered? I am lost. Please direct me. It's crossover. <laughs> All the jumps, all the crossover of all the jumps. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Massive crossover. Come on, Blake. Okay. The Alan Wake game. Oh, yeah. It's for that. Unfortunately, it's time to explain. Yes, yes, yes. That's bad. Very bad. Very bad. Anything to do with our world. Well, you're gonna stop it, they right? You're gonna protect me from all that insanity? <laughs> you better. have been protecting me? Okay, well, thank okay. you, buddy. <laughs> I love you so much for protecting me from all this insanity. And also, I never need to sell it. Yeah, because you're my son. I love you because of that, too. <laughs> Excuse me. We will certainly excuse you. Go fight, fight another day. Charge. 
Fight well and strong and long, my son. I believe in you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that was cute. The massive ones. <laughs> This is life and Shay stuff, guys. <laughs> I, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh, I can't do anything to that. Put this up there. Yeah! Alright. So I think on Twitch tonight, we might play some Don't Starve. Maybe some faz. I don't really know what we're gonna get into, you guys, but we're gonna have some fun on Twitch tonight, per usual. <gasps> Sunday shenanigans, you know. Huh? What's up there? Oh, we're cleaning the stuff. Look at us. Look at us go. So helpful. Such great students. We can't talk to him, that's right, because we're not, not the right student. This game is really cute. I like it. I knew you would. <laughs> I knew you would. You know me well, Steph. I knew you would have to shout to all of us. I just need. <laughs> oh! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, My cool! My have been off the chain this week. Oh, is it because the God. weather? The weather has like totally thrown me into like cluster headache city the other day, but um Oh no. I think that was barometric pressure with the crazy storm front coming in, but like stuff is already yeah. blooming here as you well, well know. Be same prepared as stuff, because I woke up with a migraine this morning. I've had one all day. Um so Gosh, it'll be coming to me. I don't know. Then. I don't know why, like, okay. I don't know what's causing it, but be, be prepared, because I know that if I'm having one and it has something to do with the weather, that you're probably going to have one. It's me, like, 12 hours later, yeah. Yeah. We are, so. we are, we are like, in weird weather land. Just a heads up. Get out of my way. I'm trying to do stuff. Don't you see? Oh, we got to go in the other section. Hey, Phil. Try oh. aiming at those gold Why walls. Why so angry? Do we have that spell yet? These these ones? I don't know. I yeah, don't think I can do I anything with it yet. No, I don't, you I know. Can't. There's, a, there's a spell that when you hit those, it will put an outline on the ball, and you will have to trace the outline. How do I get scabbers out? Uh... You have to be Ron, and I think it's A. There he goes. Okay. All right. I need yeah. to Wingardium Leviosa that. No, not you. Get out of the way. I'm busy. Go away. Wingardium <laughs> <laughs> Leviosa, the, the hell? Wingardium oh. Leviosa, that student out of the way. <laughs> That's what those gold walls were. That's why. Oh, you need Hermione. She's she has a book. Oh, you can't do anything with red sparkles. You need um the dark magic. I remember you saying that. But Hermione has a book, and she can use that chest. Ah. So if you hit Y to swap to Hermione, she can open that chest up over there. 
Make sure you pay attention to the symbols as they light up. You have to repeat the sequence. Okay. I forgot how freaking time consuming and so many steps were on chatting <laughs> up. Oh my god. <laughs> now I remember why I don't make them often. <laughs> it's just such a process. How many steps are there? Okay, well, essentially, patty melt should be like the easiest thing in the world to do. And if you had a diner where you had a bucket of sauteed onions on hand uh -huh. and toast and burger, it'd be fine. But when you're at home, you have to do all that yourself. Yeah, you gotta uh -huh. caramelize the onions, put them to the side, cook the Yeah, burger. the onions are caramelizing. Oh, I was not paying Basically, attention. You're making like a grilled cheese on rye and then you put the burger and the onions in the middle of it. And make and sure then, it's yeah. the sides. So you yeah. have to cook all the ingredients, or you have to cook all the components separately. Right. And then you have to build the sandwich, and then the sandwich has to be cooked like a grilled cheese after a symbol. Right. So, That's it's a, a whole freaking process. I've been fooling with these things since Four o'clock. Oh, One of my no. favorite sandwiches, though. They're uh, definitely the hands down. down. in there too. Let's yeah, see. hands down. One of my favorite sandwiches. But it is a process. Yeah. Just so much easier to go to the corner. Even you know, harder is making a Monte Cristo, though. Oh my God! Right? What's a what's I a Monte make... Cristo? It's like a deep fried ham and cheese. Aw, uh, no yeah, worries, Debbie. Good night and sweet dreams. Thanks for hanging out. That sounds really good. Oh, it's delicious. And then what you do is you serve so it with good. some kind of, uh, like, raspberry preserves or something. Some kind of berry oh, jam that you dip it in. Pompo. Yeah. Yeah. Something, something sweet and slightly tart. And with a tan of the sandwich in it, so... Good. And, and the then wrong the will kill that is, uh, Croque Monsieur, which is a deep fried like egg and cheese sandwich. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good I was food. seriously dying for Josh's pork roast pork from the. Oh, the roast and, and oh my god, did that up. thing look good? Yeah, it did. And I I tried to get some, but they they closed it. 15 minutes after I looked for what time they were going to be no. open oh, on Saturday no. and then before. And then I thought, I'll just stop there on Sunday and check this place out. Nope, they're closed on Sunday. So. Sunday. Oh, no. That ramen well, place here, here. last night was so good. I had never had actual ramen before. Really? So, oh, Real just, ramen is such a treat, though, isn't it's it? It's so good. And it was affordable, but it was really, really rich. So, yeah, it was good. Really good. You think ramen and you're like, oh, well, I'm not paying this for ramen. I'll be hungry again in 20 no, minutes. But it's, it's all not about the broth. Ramen. The broth was so It's good. not ramen like what you think or have ever experienced if you've never had real ramen. It is not that, that little. It's totally this different. Cup of ramen. Like two days it's, they it's not. It's not instant ramen. Yeah. It's totally it's, different. Yeah. It's like bone broth by the time it gets to you. It's really good. It's so good. All it's the aromatics so they put it's in good. it. Mm -hmm. Which is why I like puff, because it's the, the broth, the good broth and the aromatics. So, same kind oh, of idea. Food in the Great Hall. <laughs> There's that a lady boy, in Chinatown in New York. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's a lady in Chinatown in New York that has like a faux restaurant and her broth, she, she's been using like the sourdough starters. Mm -hmm. She's had, she's had her, she's got her, her faux broth, her faux broth starter. She started with it when she opened her restaurant. She just adds new stuff to it every day. I was slate so punk. Not two days. It's, it's, um, yeah, she's been no, open for not, years and years and years. I'm sorry. This, I'm like, that's where I want to go eat pho. I want to eat her pho. <laughs> Does the game automatically save or do I have to save it? Um, it auto saves. See, it Harry's must little, auto save. Yeah, Harry's little face. So then, you know, you're you're good to go. It'll pick back up. It won't pick okay. up where you're at. 
um, when you start the game again, you'll be in the Leaky Cauldron. Oh, okay. And um, you will see uh, see the options. Then okay. you'll have some different options at, from what you had the first time you were in like, Leaky okay. Cauldron. Okay. Because it's 5 But you're ready for, for so. lesson number two when we come back next week. Yes. So, and you'll get some more of the story done. That'd be fun. Yeah. Today was really fun. Thank you for all the help and for directing me through. And it was fun talking legacy and talking about all the games with you guys, what's coming up. So I'm looking forward to more of that. Hopefully next week, maybe we'll have some more news, some more updates. Who knows? That we hear something soon, but I'm right? not anticipating and not anticipating hearing anything definite from the legacy category until no. fantastic beast drop i'm gonna yeah stick with my gut know, on though. that and i you never think know, that though. it's just too good of an opportunity for them to pass up for their particular audience to mm -hmm. not use fantastic beast 3 as a legacy trailer drop i agree but I wouldn't be surprised if we get some more little like hints and things. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some like little tidbits or something. Exactly. Yeah. Some little exactly. some little teaser. Some little exactly. teaser, but I'm not expecting any news news until mm -hmm. until the Fantastic Beast movie comes out. Yep. I'm enjoying but... everybody doing the lore shorts though. Like for that. Yeah. That's that's cool. Mm-hmm. And I'm enjoying that. And I really hope that Dumbledore gets to be our classmate. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty Dude, awesome. Dude, he started, he started Hogwarts in 1892. It makes sense. It makes so sense. So he totally could be our classmate, but it depends on what part of the 1800s. Yeah. They drop us in, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited, though, um, and hopefully, you know, as we get news, obviously, pay attention on Twitter, pay attention in the Discord, um, watch out for James's videos, and I plan on trying to make some more exclusive videos to the game. Um, I've just got to figure out, schedule-wise, how I'm going to stay up to date and make that happen, because... Part of the reason I switched to doing live streams for Wizards and talking about things that were coming up through the live streams was because I couldn't couldn't keep up with editing and job and schedule and when things dropped. So um, we'll see, though. But thanks for hanging out today, everybody. Today was a lot of fun. I'll be on Twitch in a few hours, and I'll see you back here um, next Sunday, same time, same place. 3.30 Central Time. Um, we'll organize a um, Harry Potter code names as well. I just want to kind of talk to everybody in Discord and see which Sunday is going to be a good Sunday that people can can be there for. Um, not just like randomly drop it on everybody and then, you know, people have things going on. So we'll figure it out. But um, thanks, everybody. Hopefully I'll see you tonight. If not... Um, thank you for subscribing, Denise, Dennis, Kinger. Um, if not, I'll see you guys next Sunday for sure. And, uh, we'll get some more videos dropped between then too. So, love you guys. Thank you.